Matthew 20. Jesus said, But whoever wishes to be great among you must be your servant, and whoever wishes to be first among you must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man came, not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. Jesus never asked us to do anything that he was not prepared to do himself. In giving his life a ransom for many, he did for us what we could not do for ourselves. He broke the power of death. It was the most sublime servant leadership of all time. Service goes from the strong to the weak, as from a parent to a child. To be servile is quite different. Our call to service may be quite low key. It may require a constant letting go of ego, and we know that is not easy. We will need continual closeness to God in prayer. Offering ourselves in service is to recognise a need and to meet that need without fuss or seeking a reward. Genuine service will not be intrusive or overbearing, but quietly done. A little goodness, a little light, will have been shared in the world like a candle. If a single candle is lighting in a room and I light a second candle from the flame, one candle has served the other in sharing its light. Its light is in no way diminished by serving, rather the room is brighter. This is the quality of servanthood. The Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. Because of this, as William Barclay says, we can believe that death is not the end. It is putting out the lamp because the dawn has come. We pray. We pray for a desire to serve you, Lord, in the people we meet and the things we do. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer.